Hi there and welcome to yet another video where I try to find the best trading strategy or algorithm for manual or bot trading. And this time I will test a second strategy from a repository owned by Brook Miles and I hope that this one performs as well as the previous one I tested from this repo. In my previous video I tested an experimental strategy called the Obelisk Ichimoku Zema from this repo and it proved to be the best performing algorithm I found until that moment. In this video I will test the Obelisk Ichimoku slow version 1.3 and hope that it will show a similar or even better hypothetical performance. And I say hypothetical because I test these algos in a controlled environment with historical data so future performances are not guaranteed as you might already have realized. Anyway, let's take a quick and high level look at the code to find out what the philosophy is behind this algo before I show you the test results. The code starts with the definition of an SSL ATR indicator that will be used in the algorithm later on. And this strategy is made up with a one hour time frame in mind, probably because the author had the best test results at this time frame. It uses a startup time of 180 candles to let it create the indicators in a correct way. And also the minimal ROI has been set to take profit a thousand percent, effectively disabling the ROI except when there is an actual 1000 percent profits to be taken. Stop loss has been set to minus 99 percent, which also means that an automatic stop loss has been disabled, unless the pair actually suffers a loss of 99 percent. Then there is a section where the informative pairs are defined. In this case, all pairs configured in the config settings. And the slow time frame indicator function is defined here. In that function, the Ichimoku is used to determine the signals that will be used for the buy and sell moments for the trading bot that uses this code. Now here in this section, the EMAs are defined that will be used in the strategy. And it looks like a sort of golden and death cross condition over here where the close price is above the EMA 50 and the EMA 50 is above the EMA 200. It goes a little bit too far to explain each and every line here, but the overall idea of this section is that it detects the moments where there is a trend found or where it stopped. This is then used to determine the actual buy and sell moments of this algorithm. And no fast indicators are defined at the moment. The actual indicators used in the strategy are normally defined in this section, However, because the actual indicators were already defined earlier, they are defined as the data frame the backtest engine will use to determine the buy and sell settings. In these sections, the buy and sell signals are defined. For example, if the trending column in the data frame is larger than zero, and if the entry OK column also contains a value larger than zero, and if the time frame has been set to zero, then there will be a buy signal. And for the sell signal, this only sells when the trend is over and returns to the value of zero. Again, the author of the code has given all the information to create plot output of the strategy's workings, signals and indicators. So I can use that to give more insights in the inner workings later on. I created one of these plots from a random backtest to show you visually how the strategy uses combinations of signals that determine the buy and sell settings. Based on the conditions in the slow TF indicator function, there are conditions calculated that together form the base of a buy signal. To give you one example from the trend subplot, if the orange trending line is 3 and the blue trend pulse equals 2, or at least higher than 0, then this forms a buy signal with the blue entry OK signal from the signals subplot. So as you can see, a nifty way of generating signals based on indicator conditions here. Now let's close this chart and see how this trading strategy performs on my backtest setup. So after I backtested the code I just presented on my setup, I got the following results back. I could test this algo on the 1 hour and lower time frames, and the 30 minute time frame seems to have the best fit for this strategy, considering its results. All the backtests have profitable outcomes, only the performance indicators have somewhat disappointing numbers here. Overall the win rate is lower than 40%. And a 40% win rate is the minimum I personally expect from a trend following strategy. And these numbers also have influence on the other performance indicators and risk indicators like CHR, Calmar, Sortino and Sharpe ratio. 
they lag a little bit behind of uh, better performing strategies. Also, this algo suffers from a high drawdown. It also has a higher losing streak than a win streak, and the pairs I used for the backtest respond less well here. I know that nowadays I am a little bit spoiled by all the great performing algos I found until now. But this also means that I set the bar higher for this current and future tested algorithms. Which on itself I think is a good idea here, because the quality also gets higher as time progresses. And here in this next plot you can clearly see that the strategy has a potential to attain great wealth, but the way it holds its gains is not great at all. The fact that it gives its gains to the market again is not preferable, and there are other algorithms that have a better rule to keep the attained profits in your account balance. You can see this more clearly when I compare this performance with the other top 10 strategies I tested so far. The Obelisk Sema, Gotstra, Beastbot and SMA Offset algorithms have much better ways to hold the gains. They also have a more even profit curve that has a steady incline and almost no clearly visible drawdowns, at least in this overview. If I would only consider the end amount of hypothetical gains, then the strategy would end up as the fifth best. But since I also consider applicability and risk factors like Shortino, Sharp, Winrate, Drawdown and more, then the end score ends up totally different. Comparing all the individual performance indicators, it is also clear to see that the strategy lags somewhat behind the top 10 algos I already found so far. The most significant plot here is the drawdown, which is way too high, so no bonus points here. Furthermore, the CHR is comparable with other strategies, but this does not make enough difference, and I give more weight to factors like Shortino and Sharp to determine if a strategy will be used by me. This all results in an end score of 274 points, and the 15th spot, ending with the same points as the Bollinger real pullback strategy, but that one ends up one place higher because of the Shortino and Sharp ratios that are better. Which automatically brings us to the end of yet another video where I test a trading strategy algorithm. All results, files, logs, plots and other stuff are available on my Patreon site for my patrons. So if you want this stuff, then become a patron. And to all patrons, a big thank you for supporting me. If you like these videos, then give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have one. Or leave a suggestion for me to test another algo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.